Okay, let's reorganize cards. on order for a couple of nail things come in. The things from the nail throne. Hey, do you want to go back under your blankie? You want to go back under? She loves being in blankets. You want me to cover you up or did you get too hot? Hey guys, welcome to another studio vlog. So it is December 15th right now. Um, I was just thinking, I'm like, you know what? I might just film a vlog. It's not gonna go up until the new year, just with everything else that I have going on with both the Christmas collaboration as well as the Christmas giveaway, which was like totally a last minute thing for me to try and do. I think it was like the day after my province got shut down. I was like, you know, I would really like to do something to kind of lift some people's spirits. So I just reached out to a couple brands that I work with and was able to get sponsors for a giveaway. And anyway, I put a giveaway together, but it's a lot of work. Like anyway, long story short, this video is not gonna go up until the new year. So welcome to 2021. <laughs> Gosh, I hope this is a better year. At this point, I haven't even like thought too much about my goals or anything I wanna do for 2021 because I feel like I'm like traumatized from trying to plan out 2020 that I'm like is there a point to plan out 2021 so we're just rolling with it but and my main goal today is to get my compilation video filmed that goes up in two days I did the exact same thing that I did with my last compilations video where I'm waiting until like the last minute to film it I don't know why and I know it's gonna be a lot of work I'm pretty sure we're doing 15 designs again I'm gonna have to check with Sarah I'm pretty sure it's 15. So it's gonna be a lot of designs, but it's all winter themed. So I feel like it's a little bit easier to narrow down what I wanna do for it instead of Christmas, which is just so broad. Um, I just got a package in from Coco and Claire and Clear Jelly Stamper. So I wanna go through that package really quick. And at this point, all that new stuff should be posted. So I should be able to share it in this vlog. So let's go open that package and see what it was. Cause I honestly just don't even know what's in the package right now. We are not working with too big of a mess today, so that's great. It shouldn't take me too long to tidy it up. Um, this is from doing my mom's nails a few nights ago, uh, so it's really not too bad. And then over here really isn't that bad either, which is fantastic. This is my return spin. And then this, you guys, look at this. Do you remember in my shopping video, I was sharing some of the leg warmers from Dollarama? Well, I went there, I don't even know what I went there for, but they've had this like rose colored one, so I grabbed it. Okay, so I requested more stamping heads. We just get on their own. You don't have to have like actual new stampers all the time, which is really nice. Um, and my actual stamping containers that I have right now are actually in good shape, which doesn't usually happen. Um, so I just got two of all of the stamping heads and then a bunch of sticky pads. So I never run out again. I did not like running out. Okay, I think these are their new matte top coats that have glitter in them, and then when, when they cure, they are a matte finish, which is really cool. I have nothing like this in my collection from any brand, so I'm looking forward to using those, and I'm glad they came in, because I think I'll use them in the compilation. Um, new plates, and then a bunch of new gel polishes, and all of this bubble wrap I save for activities, if you guys are wondering, or sometimes like I, I use it for giveaways and stuff. Cute. She just loves being in blankets. This is how she sleeps with me all the time. And she's so little. She's like a very dainty and petite cat. Maybe she doesn't look like it right now, but she is. She's very, very small. forth on the whole lot of things on my desk situation and for these compilation videos I tend to have a lot of things on my desk and I've been contemplating for a while 
getting another bigger cart <laughs> just so I can have all my filming stuff and the stuff that I work on when I work on people which isn't very often but like I still use all of these things whether it's like the hand or people anyway um so I was thinking about getting the bigger cart so that maybe some of this stuff could go off my desk I don't know that's kind of what I'm thinking but I have a bigger cart for filming that I don't really use unless I'm filming like swatch videos because then I need all my swatch stick colors and stuff but that's really the only time that I use it and then other than that it just kind of sits over there so I think I'm gonna do some cart reorganization right now and then hopefully it'll function a little bit better you guys know this is like exactly how I work whenever I have things to do <laughs> okay let's reorganize carts bit of a cart tour now that I reorganized it. So this is the cart that'll sit beside me all the time, whether I'm filming, working on people, working on fingers, fake hands, whatever I'm doing. It's got absolutely everything that I need in it, which it just makes my heart so happy. So these little containers are from Ikea. Um, truthfully, they're not the best because I bump them all the time. So then they just fall off, but that was on that other cart over here. And they just, I had them kind of sitting on the side here and I bumped them literally all the time and they just would fall over, but I moved them to the side here. So hopefully I don't bump them as much. I don't know. <laughs> uh, this container here is a clear jelly stamper polish rack. They're small one. And I just have my most used kind of products in here. So all of my Coco and Claire, um, base and top products, and then my Beamy base what is this top gloss and matte and then these are all different top gels from different brands um drop gel from opre transfer foil gel from opre and then my holy grail holy 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 grail top gloss absolutely love this stuff love it so much and then i just kept the delicate fine gold one out because i use this all the time too and then my crystal glue is over here and then in this little fancy dish i just have some of these um small swarovski crystals i like these for filming they look really cool in the backgrounds and then all of my red iguana fingers. Um, I've got some of my palette dishes here so they're easy to grab. This container I got in um, Sarah's in my shop with me video for December. And I just have my three different kinds of stiletto swatch sticks in here. Um, my spinning organizer again from HomeSense, which isn't spinning very well because I moved all of my hands in there, which I'm not entirely sure if they're gonna stay there, if I love them, but here we are. And then I just keep the tips that I use for my red iguana hands in here in all the different sizes and then all of the different hands there. And then this is all of the products that I use whenever I'm filming, but mostly on people. Uh, so my lotions, my LCN Super Shine Finish Cleaner, cuticle oils, uh, spray bottles with my different prep stuff. And then I've got another crystal glue down here, some brushes, a little dampen dish or whatever you call them. I think it's actually a candle holder, but I use this for acetone sometimes. And then I've got all of my small little things. So my lip brush, my sponges, my micro swabs, Q-tips, um, little spatulas, all of that stuff that I need. And then this is all of my clear jelly stamper stuff. So my little sponges that I use for wiping off my scraper. A whole bunch of different clear jelly tips that are all different sizes or all different shapes all in one container, which is dumb, like don't do this. And then all of my clear jelly stampers, scrapers, and then these mixing balls too just mixing marbles that you can put in your stamping polishes if they're starting to separate and it'll kind of blend them all up a bit better. And then I have a whole bunch of backups of the sticky pads and then my crystal dishes back there and then more of the clear jelly stamper tips and stands here. And then down here, this is the main reason that I wanted to do it because I do not reach for these unless I'm filming swatch videos. Uh, so I wanted to put them in a tier that it doesn't matter, like it's not gonna get utilized very much. Um, and I like this. I think this is going to function so much better. I just hope my cats don't get into it. It's just like backup filming stuff, like things I don't need all the time, but can easily just go grab if, um, I do need it. So my, like my rings and <laughs> that I use for my hand to make it look like she's wearing a sweater. And then this container with some extra swatch sticks down here. We just have like my little stands that I use for products. Sometimes, um, my other little stands, extra glitter containers, um, a background mat for clear jelly, and then my masks, gloves, and armrests for my clients. So this is just gonna sit over where this big cart was um, so that I can just grab the items if I need them. 
but all the time this is gonna sit in front of me i'm so pumped that i got this done today and then also on my desk i just need to wipe it down but this frees up so much space over here which is great and then i'm gonna put all these crystals away and we're good to go i'm really pumped i did this especially before filming compilations because stuff gets everywhere for compilation video Of this vlog <laughs> i always well it seems like lately whenever i do vlogs i tend to like forget to end them but i also i felt like there wasn't that much content in the last part of it i can't even remember what the last part of this was but i felt like there was probably more that i could film so i'm in the studio now it is sunday december 20th so it is my work day i usually try and take one work day on the weekends um depending on how much work i have to get done but generally i find I need to have one at least half work day on the weekend. So I got down here at about 10.30, it's 11.30 now. I've just been doing some behind the scenes things for like my giveaway on Instagram. Um, so that's been taking up some of my time this morning. You guys are totally gonna hear my kids like running around upstairs. But today I am filming the last videos for Sarah's in my Christmas series. So day 11's nail art, which is Aurora Borealis. This was a theme that Sarah really wanted to do. I have no idea what I'm gonna do for it. Uh, I'm gonna, going to use the Opry Hypno Gels or something. It's like their version of magnetic gel polishes. I know I wanna use that. Um, I also have to film my nail studio tour, which is what I'm doing now uh, because my house cleaner was in this past week and I told her I was filming this video. So she like really did a like a deep clean of my studio so i want to just tidy it to make it look a little bit better because as much as it's clean there's some tight some tidying things that need to be done i had an amazon order for a couple of nail things come in so I had an order come in from the nail throne i've already shared these on instagram it was a disaster because rose was right there if you guys follow me on instagram you would have seen that um but i have not shared these on instagram so i actually decided that i'm going to put away all of my christmas stuff because the only tutorial that i have to do is the Aurora Borealis one. And if there's anything that I need, I can just like grab it, right? Like I can just figure out where it is. So I made these little um, kits up when I first started filming that had all of my Christmas and winter stuff in it. And I think I'm just gonna put it away you guys because yeah, it's just taking up space and um, I would like it to not be in my nail studio tour. <laughs> studio tour i am so excited like i i love filming that nail art collections i think they're so fun and i love watching those type of videos too so anyway okay so the space looks really good and when i film sit down to film my aurora borealis tutorial uh it's gonna mess it the heck up so i'm almost thinking that i'm gonna film my nail favorites video right now first and then film the aurora borealis one because the nail favorites i'm gonna film like camera like with my face so I want to make sure that like I'm looking okay and the studio is looking okay and then I'll do the tutorial after and then I can always if I don't get the tutorial filmed finish filming it when the kids go to sleep my um kit life weekly planner which I really like I've actually like I've never used this style of planner um the kit life weekly before uh like this one it's like a horizontal layout and it's working really well as like my work planner so I am using it for um, like content ideas. I'm using it for like my monthly to track what videos I want to have post. And then it's been really handy for the giveaway in December as well. And then in the back, I've just got like a whole bunch of notes pages and that's where I put down some of my 2020 nail favorites. 
Um, but some of the stuff that I want to share are like, I can't remember if they came out in 2020. So right now I need to just sit down and go back and look at my videos and my social media and stuff and just see what year some of this stuff came out because I'm planning for what I want to film. Sarah. <laughs> hours later i'm so bad at this today um i'm actually like in my pajamas but i came back down to film because i actually was counting on one full day of childcare this week and i am not going to have that now so um i need to spend some time working at night probably for the next two or three nights uh just to get my stuff done too so it's quarter to 10 right now. I will likely be working until about 11.30 tonight just to get everything done that I need to. I finished filming the like intro to the Opry video and then um, I'm just gonna do the swatches now. And if I can get that done today, that'll be great. And I have freaking cats. No, no, it's not happening. Let me kick the cats out, one sec. Hey, come here, where did the other one go? All right, so this is something that I wanted to show you guys. So the closest Ikea to me is about two hours away, uh, but I have family that lives like where Ikea is. So I was able to ship this to them and then um, other family members went up and picked it up, uh, which is great. I had some other items that I wanted for like my toy storage, but I really wanted some sort of shelving up here. If you guys have watched my studio tour video, I was talking about some sort of shelving. So I grabbed these shelves. What is the name of these? This name there and they come in two different sizes so they come in these kind of longer ones and then there's shorter ones as well and i got two of the shorter ones too but these are going to go in some fashion on this wall and right now i should really be filming but i want to open one of them and see how many polishes they hold because if they hold my coco and claire ones then i don't think i'm going to get the uh, clear racks that I was thinking about getting I think I'm just gonna put them all in here so I'm kind of curious to see how many they hold this is great they actually hold 120 polishes so I have 40 lined up back here and then I could get three rows of it I'm just wondering if there's a way to like tier them so that like this one would sit a little bit higher and then this one would sit higher above that one so I'm actually just gonna post on Instagram and see if anybody <laughs> has done that before these would be really heavy though, so I'm just not sure how much weight they hold. I'll have to double check that to see if it would work. And then I also do have the smaller ones as well, which I could also utilize in some fashion. Contemplating it, but I'm gonna post on Instagram and see. And then I will finally show you guys the Amazon and um, Glitter Bells order that came in since I messed up my studio anyway filming. So for my Amazon haul, I just um, did some stories on these. So I don't know, I, do you guys like to see things in packaging? I feel like when people do hauls, I like to see them in packaging, so I like try and save them, but this is how this one came. I just grabbed some like super sharp, nice scissors uh, because the ones that I have been using are really dull and I've had them for a long time and they were super like cheap scissors. I wanted a better quality one and I'm pretty sure that these scissors came in like gold and silver and a couple different colors, but um, they are super, super sharp. They're really, really heavy and I think they're gonna work really well for like small nail things. This came in a two pack. It is just a washi tape dispenser. I wanted it because I use washi tape to tape down like my backgrounds. It came in a two pack and I had originally planned to put the two pack, the other second one upstairs and I had just finished posting about this on Instagram and um, one of you guys, Nails by Alana, had messaged me and said that she uses this exact same thing for striping tape. And I'm like, mm, girl, that's genius. So here we are. <laughs> I put my striping tape all in here. And I think these, some of these are backwards. I just randomly put these in here. But the nicest thing about this is that I will not lose my place on my striping tape. So you can't really get it to cut very well because the tape just falls in between the teeth. And also this, a uh, little bar here you can flip it around so you can have the bigger teeth or the smaller teeth so I will not be using like that but I can use my fancy scissors to cut it so and then I will not lose my place on there so I'm really excited about this I'm so glad she reached out and shared that with me because I think this is gonna work so well and then these stack on top of each other too so I think that's gonna just be so great the other thing that I grabbed was another phone stand because <laughs> That's just me. Um, the reason I wanted this one is because it's more telescopic, 
more telescopic so it goes quite a bit taller but i can't get this to position down more and so when i do stories um, i tend to have this like perfectly flat so that's kind of disappointing but i will still use this nonetheless um, all over my studio and then the last thing from amazon are these eyeshadow wands i use these for chrome stamping all of the time um, so i just wanted some more of them the things from the nail throne uh, let's start with the glitters because it's glitters. I shared these on Instagram and my daughter was like helping me and they're all just like a giant mess now. I actually ordered these at the end of November and they literally just came in uh, because shipping is just so delayed with COVID and Christmas and all of the things. I had fully intended on using a lot of these items in my winter compilations video. A lot of these things were ordered with that intended purpose. Uh, but I wanted some more of the fine glitters from the Glitter Bells. Uh, these work really good for sugaring, but they also work really good for chrome stamping. Oh, I used one of these for the compilation video. It was slushy which is this really pretty blue one. And it stamped so well with uh, the sticky polish. I actually, you guys didn't see that because I didn't film it, but I tried a bunch of different kinds of sugar powders to see how they all stamped. And this one stamped by far the best, the um, Glitter Bells one. So I am really excited that I have some more fine glitters here. Um, I also have this one, which is rainbow and it is a holographic silver so beautiful i cannot wait to um chrome i cannot wait to use sticky polish in combination with that one and then this was the main reason that i placed the order and it is these are so dusty i'm gonna have to clean these all off this is snowbell and sarah shared this in one of her haul videos really like did my daughter just like come in here and open these all or something sarah showed it in her video and in her video it looked like it is just like a plain white glitter but now that i kind of have it in person it has Honestly, it kind of looks like it would apply a little bit like a chrome. I don't know though, but it definitely has like a pearl effect to it too. It's not like a matte glitter, but it is so, 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 so fine. So I'm totally going to be using this um, for chrome stamping because I'm really curious to see how it stamps. And actually, you know what? I'm going to leave this out because the video that I'm going to film right after this, I think I'm going to try and use it in. This one is called Stunner and it is a chunky glitter and this is a holographic um, like kind of like light gold color. So I think that will be great. Uh, this one is quartz and it is a medium glitter and it is an iridescent glitter. Um, this one is envy and it is a chunky glitter and it's kind of like a peridot medium, uh, green type of color. This is going to be great for floral nails. Um, this one is called Ivy and Ivy is like a teal one. It's also the glitter that's like apparently in all of my other glitters. Next one is called Amethyst. So I have another purple one from them. This one, and it is um, Aubergine, and I I just love it. I think it's so pretty. And then I saw that they had a different purple one, um, and this one is just a little bit lighter and a little bit more blue toned, um, but both are really, really pretty. And this is a mixed glitter. This is a chunky glitter. It is called Mystical. And I like this because it is iridescent, but it has like a blue tinge to it. Um, Light Elegance has a glitter called Moon, and it's one of my favorite uh, glitters for like glitter fades if you're going to use it in combination with different blue shades I tend to use it a lot for like ocean type of nails um, Anyway, this color kind of reminds me of that. So I think this would pair like amazing with moon then this one is crystal and it is a fine glitter and um, It has a little bit of like a green and purple iridescent hue to it Treasure and it is a medium one. I actually wanted this one in chunky. I believe or fine, but I don't think that um, it was available. But I'm actually, I really want to try chrome stamping with that one too. And then the last one is crimson and it is a fine glitter. I have the crimson in, I believe the mixed as well, um, but I did want the fine one. So I had full intentions of using this one for Christmas nails, um, but I'm, I'm sure I could probably use it for Valentine's Day nails actually. And then I did grab a couple gel polishes to try out. I really just wanted to get kind of an idea of how these kind of swatch. So again, these were supposed to be for Christmas nails. So I did grab this green one that Sarah had featured in um, her videos. I think she had this on her nails too. And it's called Green Queen. 
and it is a really nice like perfect shade of like evergreen color the brushes on these are really really small actually really interested to try that out and then this is purely like selfish reasons why i grabbed this one this is for me this is going to go on my nails at some point um this is called fine rose and it is a sparkle oh gosh that is so pretty oh i love how it's like rosy toned that is beautiful and then this one i did just want to get like a neutral one as well and it is called naked Ooh, this has a really nice kind of pearl look to it that would be a good background color as well and then the last thing that i grabbed is the strawberries and cream brush on builder gel because i really wanted to see um to try this out and i love the shade of it sarah had shown this in one of her haul videos and i just thought the shade was so pretty it's kind of got like a rosy peachy hue to it um and i really was curious how the builder and the bottles work from glitter bells so that is everything for my like little haul that i was going to share with you guys um but i'm gonna end the vlog here because i'm pretty sure there's enough footage now <laughs> thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch uh, make sure you're following me on all of my social media and i will see you guys in the next video bye